Hello all, this is Halloween, and today is my birthday and I can't wait to share what I have in store for you today. If you recall last year on my birthday, I recreated Madonna's Like a Virgin look. And this year, my birthday costume is gonna be Michael Jackson's Thriller. Let's get started. Here we have Michael Jackson's iconic thriller look. I bought this jacket from Amazon for like 40 bucks. We're gonna be kind of destroying it. Now there's several looks you can do for thriller. He's got the look where they're at the movies and he's just like regular old Michael Jackson before he turned into a zombie and then you've got the zombie Michael and then you've got the Michael at the end that kind of just has the, the cat eyes. He turns around and he has the cat eyes but the rest of him is regular and you also have where he turns into a werewolf so you can be any one of these characters. A few years back Heidi Klum did the one as the werewolf. She's amazing and that looked awesome too. So a lot of different ways you can go when you're recreating the thriller video. So I just got the jacket here. Of course I've got the loafer shoes. Now this is crazy. I went to I went to Goodwill with a goal in mind. I needed a loafer style shoe. So I found these exact shoes in the ladies shoe section and they were too big and I wanted to be able to move around better in them. I go to the men's section, they have the same shoe in my size. So I totally lucked out with that. I think they were like 10 bucks. Oh, okay, $13 for those. Man, Goodwill's getting expensive. Anyway, you gotta have the crisp white socks for Michael. He always wore white socks. I've just got a black collared shirt. This one looks kind of Michael to me with the lines on it and stuff. Doesn't matter. The jacket's going to be over it the whole time. I just wanted something to wear underneath the jacket. In case I get hot and want to take the jacket off. And then of course you've got red pants. All in all, this costume is a really easy look to pull off. And this wig here was just stellar. I got it and it was perfect. And I'll put it up here which one I got. It looks just like in the picture, probably even better. It's, you know, the curls are more relaxed. It's got the Michael Jackson kink right in the front. Let's go ahead and do this. All I did was I hot glued those little strips we cut and spray painted them black and then I hot glued them into inside the tears in the jacket. So once you do that, you're finished with your Michael Jackson zombie jacket. It's makeup time. Let's recreate Michael Jackson from the Thriller. So the first thing you're gonna need is your eyebrows glued down because we're not gonna have any at all. And I haven't really taken all the makeup out of mine. I do darken mine. I have not done that today. So we're just gonna go right over what, <laughs> right over them. Doesn't matter because we're gonna be a whole different color, obviously. And you really always wanna do an upward motion with your eyebrows, kind of flattens them out. It makes them look crazy, but it flattens them out real good. While that's kind of drying a little bit, I'm going to let you know what we'll be using today. You're gonna need your water, some sponges. I am going out in this costume, so I will be using my Ben Nye Final Seal. This is so worth it. It's, um, it's kind of pricey. This size bottle probably run you about $25, maybe 30. I don't know how much it is right now. I bought this one a while back. I don't use it all the time because most of the time I'm just getting dressed and taking pictures for you. So I'm not really going out, but today I'm actually going out, so I'm going to make sure I put on my final seal. Ben Nye Frankenstein. I promise you this is like the best color in the world. So if you do have a bit of a um, Halloween arsenal, you may want to get this color. I got two big ones like this because I love the color so much. It's just a great color from Ben Nye. And if you're gonna be a zombie, Frankenstein, obviously it's called Frankenstein. This color here is what you're gonna need. Uh, Norma Bates, anything like that. I have warm brown. We're actually gonna, I think we're gonna do the base brown and then it's it's not gonna be brown by the time we're done. He actually was more of a Frankenstein green in that video. You can definitely see the, uh, the brown undertones though. And I just got this one uh, out because I thought we maybe could use it. It's called Blythe Spirit. You can't really see because it's pretty old. 
but it's kind of like a grayish it's kind of like taupe really a taupe color so I've got that and then of course our licorice black also we're gonna be using a little Crayola model magic for this one is that upside down no. Crayola model magic for this one too a little bit not over the top, but we're going to actually be doing that first. Anytime you're doing a prosthetic piece, a nose, a chin, cheekbones, anything like that, you're going to want to go ahead and do that first. Get that all blended and, and stuff. So I'm going to get it kind of to where it's working with me. And then real quickly, do another coat on my eyebrows. That's what Maddie says to do. My friend who does drag, she does Reba McIntyre, campy kind of funny stuff, 1950s housewife kind of stuff. You want to check her out? Maddie Madison, M-A-T-T-I-E, Madison on YouTube. She's pretty cool. She helped me out with the eyebrow gig because I really wasn't doing a great job before. Um, didn't know what I was doing wrong. I'm just not a pro at it, you know what I mean? All right, do one more coat. We're gonna start forming cheekbones. It's not real extended it's kind of just a little bit like we did really dramatic ones for natasha fatal this is going to be a little less dramatic believe it or not <laughs> it's just going to kind of bring it out more you know and i'm just taking it and molding it how i want it with this one i think i am going to rip it some so that it has that thinner edge that is easier to blend i'm going to add a little more we want to be a little dramatic <laughs> i was going to do something with my nose but i looked at his nose and you know, there's nothing I could I could get away with my own nose with this one. Well, it might be a little Natasha Patel. I don't know where they were at with the evolution of makeup back in those days. It was the 80s, so I don't think it had come very far quite yet. So when I was looking at his makeup in the thriller video, I was like, wow, it's really kind of sim simple. It's not it's nothing crazy. So I thought this shouldn't take too long. Hopefully it doesn't because it's like two o'clock right now and it's my birthday today. I'm actually going to my work though because I want to show them my costume. And they have some kind of resident meeting that I didn't know about where they're going to be. There's like an introduction to me and I didn't know that until yesterday. So I'm going to give them a chiller diller thriller. Oh yeah, that's what we're wanting right there. That'll look good. I'm going to kind of get the edges as thin as possible for this one so I can blend it. I'm going out, so it, you know, it matters a little bit more <laughs> because I'm going to have people in my face. So <laughs> once you have it molded to about the shape you want, you want to get that glue on there. And you want to be really liberal with your glue, especially if you're going out, so that it'll stick. You don't have to worry about weight or it trying to fall off because it's heavy or sweating underneath or anything like that. This stuff is really lightweight. That's why it makes such a great medium for prosthetics. It's just incredible. I'm so happy I stumbled upon it because if I was trying to do 37 costumes a year and buying prosthetics and some costume stuff, it'd be way too expensive for me to even do that. Even Goodwill's getting expensive, you know? And that that's just upsetting to me because they're supposed to be like a charitable thing and I mean, a pair of shoes at Goodwill for $12.96 and they're not even really brand name? I don't know. That's a little steep. I'm sounding my age. But I remember when you could go to the thrift store and get a shirt for a dollar. Not anymore. Best you can do is maybe a, <laughs> a shirt with a stain on it for $4. Y'all feel my pain. I know you do. Because if you're going to the thrift store and looking for stuff, you've got to see it. So I'm just tearing some. These torn pieces here are actually not glued down because they're the ends but as thin as you can get it on the ends will make it blend very well once you go in with your liquid latex your liquid latexes uh they'll come in flesh tone or white i think they both no i think the flesh tone actually dries in flesh tone but the white one dries clear so it kind of doesn't really matter which one you use because it's gonna you know you're putting makeup on it anyway that gives us a nice little side profile. My face is very round. If you need to press down the edges better, use a Q-tip. Because you get a bunch of spirit gum all over your hands, it's a little annoying. So just use your Q-tip and kind of press it down. Now we're going to do our other cheekbone. The Thriller album sold 60 million copies worldwide I think 
which is pretty crazy at that time. And I think Michael Jackson spent his whole life trying to outdo the thriller and it, he he never did. He never he never made another album that was better than that one. They were all good. Everybody liked him. Of course, everybody loves Michael Jackson, but Thriller really was his best work. And Vincent Price, I mean, come on, the guy's incredible. I mean, he really made Thriller with his in with his outro and his intro. Did he have an intro and an outro? I think so. I have a thicker part. I'm trying to just put that part on the top. So it'll kind of be... They don't look perfect right now. That's okay. We're gonna blend them and hopefully everything will be good. All I'm doing is ripping the edges, making them as thin as possible, and then I'm gonna add my glue and glue it on. You can adjust this as the spirit gum keeps getting tackier and tackier to try and blend it a little more. And your liquid latex will do the rest. Now you're gonna take your liquid latex as soon as this is dry and start blending that with the liquid latex. I have the white here. Oh, that's not a little latex. That's color, that's setting powder. All right. And again, you wanna get this on pretty quickly. Cheekbones are on, latexed. Just letting that dry and won't be able to paint right over it. And if you want to latex some more, you can do as much latex as you want until it's nicely blended. I'm just gonna put some powder over my eye, eyebrows. <laughs> and he's got another like sort of ring around his eye that I was thinking about doing with the liquid latex, but I think we could just do it with makeup, honestly. So for the makeup, I'm actually gonna use a brush for his eyes. Now, we've done zombies, stuff like that in the past, but his eye sockets are actually quite uniform. The two of them are the exact same, and it's almost like a, it's a perfect line, going straight across and then around like that on each side. I've got this kind of exacto knife shaped brush here, and that's gonna give me a real, uh, defined line probably so i'm gonna wet this just like i would my sponge all right i got my brow i'm just still waiting for my cheeks to dry so i'm gonna go in first with my brown this is the same brown we use this is warm brown by ben nye we use this for mrs butterworth you want to get on your base coat before you do your eye sockets normally i start with my eyes but when you're doing or your whole face is going to be painted you want to get the base coat on first whatever the base coat is and then do your eye because you don't want to be having to work around your work you know what i mean you might have been going oh my gosh she's painting that awesome jacket it's a fake it's not real leather it's <laughs> it's just like a um a vinyl jacket it was 40 bucks no big deal if i wanted to buy another one i'd just buy another one and keep it you know nice but the ripping of the jacket was necessary to do the zombie look if you don't want to rip the jacket you want to buy the jacket and you want it to look nice then just be a different version of of michael in the video but for 40 bucks i thought let's roll the dice on this one you know you don't have to do too much around your eye because you know it's going to be black so um don't worry about your eyes so much we're really not worried about a lot of things because we're going to be going over all this with green and blithe spirit and the other colors that I have. I just want it to look like before he became a zombie, he was black. That's all, that's all I want to look like. <laughs> because that's the truth. I'm not going to worry too much about my ears. They're not really going to be showing much. Just, well, I don't know that they did his ears. Makeup on his ears in the video. He had the curly hair. Now that curly haired wig, <clears throat> it was a little long. I was looking a little Lionel Richie, so I was going for Michael Jackson. So I did trim it some. You may want to do that with yours. You may not you may want to keep it to use for another costume down the road or something. I'm just letting you know that it may look a little different because that's what I did. And this is great. All we got to do for this costume is our neck and hands. Well, our arms because he, he kind of has his sleeves rolled up. It's not looking very blended to me, so I'm going to redo that. I really want to look nice tonight because I'm going out 
if it doesn't look blended enough you can just do what i just did you really want ripped edges so it will blend better this one looks all right pretty blended this one looks pretty blended once i put all the other makeup on so i think i'm gonna leave that one Obviously, I can't go over that part until it's dry. So, I'm gonna do my eyes. And for that, I'm going to wet my brush a little bit, just like you would the sponge. And let's see how this works. Oh, look, works pretty good. Might be able to even use an eyeshadow for this part. Straight across and then around. Just follow, kind of follow uh, the bags under your eyes. If you're young, you probably don't have any bags under your eyes yet, but. I'm just kind of doing this kind of quick just to get the basic shape and then I'll clean it up. I have a cream pencil too. This is just a cheap cream pencil I bought from like CVS or something couple years ago and I've had it for a long time I have a small pencil too you're gonna need a small pencil to kind of clean up your work now I'm gonna do my waterline with black you're gonna want to carry a pencil around with you so that you can touch up if you need to now I think I'm gonna go in with a something light maybe white I have some Miron here, this is the Mayron Paradise in white. Remember I was telling you he had that line around his eye too. So just to kind of highlight, I think I'm gonna use this. I know that looks funny right now, so we're gonna blend a little bit using the Frankenstein. So we're gonna go in with our green and go right around the eye. We don't want that white to be white white, we just want it to be there. It's not blending like it normally does, which is weird. Let's see the other side. Only thing you can do is add more latex. Let's do our other eye real quick here. Over here, it's blended really well. It's just right, right in here. But maybe I can do some funky zombie stuff. It kinda looks zombie. I'm gonna do my other eye. My liquid latex wasn't covering with the aqua, the Ben Nye aqua paint. So I just took some gray cream and then it covered. And now I can paint over the gray cream, probably. Uh, I'm highlighting right now using the Frankenstein green I want to highlight basically all of my, my uh, protrudent areas. Forehead, chin, which I did a little bit of off camera because I was trying to charge my GoPro a little bit. It's more green. He's more green than brown. So we're going to try and get the, the green going here. I've been trying to learn the dance, but that dance is something else. Is There's a lot of steps. And I'm not really sure I can sing and dance at the same time. I've kind of got two left feet. I think singing and dancing is pushing it. <laughs> I did also add some black underneath my cheekbones here. It's literally like, it's literally like two, like 10 minutes till I'm supposed to be at that little meeting at work. <laughs> That's why I've kind of had to go off camera and do some stuff. While my GoPro was trying to charge, I don't really like the way this kind of line around there is looking. I went around with a pencil around that little white line. I think I'm gonna try and blend that a little. I'm just gonna use this Ben Nye liquid. Ben Nye Aqua, I should say. It's looking a lot better than it did. <laughs> I was a little worried there for a minute. Taking a little of the white. I don't know what's going on with my light over here. It's acting like a strobe light. Hope nobody has epilepsy out there. 
I did study kind of like what he looked like, you know, before I did this makeup. I'm just going around this little white part that I created with the Benite Aqua. His lips, you want to put a little bit of black. And it's almost like just inside where the crease is, where the, where the opening is. It's not real dark black. I'm going to be doing some more highlighting on my neck with the green. And he has lines up here in the arch of his, in the bridge of his nose. I'm going to blend these. I think he needs a little more black. And then we'll start painting our arms. This is as good as it's gonna get before I go to work. I'm probably gonna have to touch it up a little bit before I go out tonight. We're gonna kind of contour a little bit right down under the chin. All right. I'm gonna need to get my waterline that I forgot here. All right, I'm gonna go get dressed. I may do more work on this. If I do, after I come back from my job, I will put it on camera so you can see. Just a blend, more blending and, and stuff before I go out tonight. I'm not gonna put my final seal on yet until it's a finished product. So I had to go to my job and it was getting too close to time so I didn't really get to finish. I finished enough of what I was doing which is why I'm a little more painted than the last you saw me. But I'll explain kind of what I did. The lines around my eyes, I kind of just blended them a little bit more and I added in some black here, some black under the chin. I did my lips and just a couple more lines you know, darken things and just kind of touch stuff up. I really didn't do a whole lot off camera. Just touching things up, making it look better. And then when I came back, I layered some more liquid latex on my cheekbones and they're still drying. So once they're dry, we're gonna kind of paint over. Now I have found that the Ben Nye Aqua Paint, which is what we've been using, doesn't really work well over the liquid latex. You're going to need a cream for that. So I happen to have a gray cream. Once you paint over with the gray cream, you'll be able to paint on top of the gray cream with your Ben Nye Aqua. So that's what I did to make it work. You know, because I was like, this is not going on. I think that's happened to me before. I just forgot. So when you're using these, you know, the uh, Crayola Model Magic, it's a little trickier than using uh, a professional prosthetic, but it's a lot cheaper. And like I said, with me doing so many costumes, like if you're out there cosplaying, you're going to regular conventions, it's going to be a lot more cost effective for you to learn how to use the model magic and do your own prosthetics. And I'm doing a lot. I'm doing actually one more costume this year with the prosthetics the Crayola Model Magic Prosthetics. Right now, I'm just kind of waiting for this to dry. It's still a little tacky. I want to add a couple of forehead lines. With, I'm going to do that with my black aqua, midnight aqua. That's not looking how I wanted. That's okay, because we can just... Now I'm going to add some forehead lines with my black Ben Nye. And then again on this side. I still gotta go to karaoke tonight. <laughs> I'm a little more nervous about that. There's gonna be more people watching and they're not uh, senior citizens. So <laughs> they're like young kids, you know, for the most part. You know, young people out and about partying. So that's a little more nerve wracking. I just sang Thriller for the residents 
at work dresses Michael Jackson and it was cool they liked it a lot of them aren't you know they're so old that they're not really with it but you know the ones that are still kind of you know a little bit younger and they really liked it it put a smile on their face and that makes me happy like I really like what I do because I can bring joy to people every day and that's so important it's why I've missed a couple episodes, you know. I mean, what would you do? You know, first of all, that's a paying gig. And it's another thing that I'm passionate about. So, you know, I just, next year will be better. It'll be more balanced and hopefully, knock on wood, nothing crazy happens next year. I mean, goodness, this has been a wild year and I'm looking forward to just this year being gone and a new year beginning. I'm looking forward to it, I say. <clears throat> I don't want to wish time away. Like I've said before, you know, we don't know how much time we have left. I may not have next year, so. We don't know. We don't know. Anything could happen at any time to any one of us. And I think oh, for a lot of people, they don't really think about that, you know? So, it's important to have some modesty about life in general and know that it's not promised. It's a gift from God. And to just live every day, um, try to do something that you love so that you're happy and all should be well. I almost just wanna add some liquid latex just kinda all over so that it's not just right in this area. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that and then paint over it. Cause today it's just not, not looking right because the rest of my face is so smooth <laughs> so if we add a little liquid latex this is a good video because it's kind of teaching you how you can if things aren't looking right or you know things didn't work out quite the way you wanted to you can fix it how you're able to go ahead and just you know try to fix it This will put some like wrinkles in my face so that it's not so perfect and smooth. <laughs> That's the problem I'm having with this one is because, not that I have perfect skin or anything, but it's, it's looking too perfect for this look. And we could draw lines on and stuff like that too, but just use some latex. And then it'll be, it'll look blended. That actually, even though it's white, it's looking better. It just, it needed to be more textured, I feel. Um, and that's, that's all it needed. I couldn't quite figure it out, but here we are figuring it out together. This one actually looked a little bit better, but I'm still, you know, if you do something to one side, you gotta do it to both sides, just like in math. All right, now we're getting there. Now, just some lines. I'm just doing some fixing now. I'm gonna go in with my black pretty hard right underneath, so see? covering now. I layered and layered and layered the uh, the latex. There's a spot that it's not, but we'll go back over it. And we're going to blend with our Frankenstein. That's much better. Much more better. As my daddy would say. Much more better. I got the song in my head, you can tell. <laughs> Couple things I want to do, and then we'll be done. I find that this method with the Venai Aqua and the brush is really good for like 
lines, frown lines. Um, it goes on, but it blends almost automatically. So it's kind of cool. Wish I'd have had time to finish my makeup before I went to work. They're probably like, oh, that looks all right. <laughs> Let's get dressed and take some photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you love today's look. Of course, it's the iconic Michael Jackson. Thriller. Uh, one of my favorite songs of all time <laughs> and kind of my theme song so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please remember to like subscribe and share on your way out that does it for today's episode I'll see you next time happy Halloween you want to make